people are gathering today um, to celebrate, and we're also here to remember. We're here to celebrate Reed Tree Western New York's 10,000th tree. It's our tree planting that we've been waiting for for a long time. It's a major watermark for the Reed Tree Western New York organization. But we're also here to remember. We're here to remember Buffalo's native son, Tim Russert, on the occasion of his 59th birthday. This beautiful sugar maple, chosen by the Russert family to memorialize Tim, is a living commemoration of a man who touched so many lives, achieving worldwide fame, but always being known as Buffalo's native son, proud of growing up here in his own hometown. This site is also symbolic of that pride. It's Buffalo's reborn waterfront on a beautiful day in downtown Buffalo at this beautiful waterfront location. This exact location was actually chosen because if you look at the triangle formed by these native trees here with Tim Russert's tree here, it really takes your eye south to South Buffalo and West Seneca where the Russert family have their roots. And we're very honored today to have in our midst Tim's sister, Kathy Russert Hughes, who's gonna say a few words in reminiscent of her brother Tim. Kathy. On behalf of the Russert family, I'd like to thank the Retree Western New York organization, especially Paul Moore, for this beautiful sugar maple tree in memory of my brother Tim. I would also like to thank Russell Tree and Shrub Farm for their generous donation of the tree. Timmy loved Buffalo and his people and one of, one of their best ambassadors. Today would have been his 50, 59th birthday and I can't think of a better way to memorialize him than by including him in the effort to restore the beauty of Buffalo after the devastating surprise storm and the rebirth and development of the Buffalo waterfront. He will live forever in our hearts and now he'll live on the Buffalo waterfront. Thank you. That's what my wife said when I left the house. 